Hello Blockineers, today we're going to unbox and demo Melphysics Rheoscopic Fluid. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you do science experiments at home. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. The age for this is 8 and up, and on the back you can see that this kit comes with three experiments. Turbulence, convection cells, and kaleidoscope and they each take 30 minutes. This set contains all of the parts we need, except kettle, but that's easy. We just need to boil water or with kettle. <laughs> We're opening the box. In the box, there are instructional pamphlets for three experiments. There's turbulence, oh, so it might like, Turb. <laughs> it might turn in there. Turb. <laughs> yeah. And then convection cells, so you can see the <laughs> cell things. And a kaleidoscope, which might be like a kaleidoscope, but completely different. In this bag, you can see the numbers one, two, and three, which means we'll need them for all three experiments. And here is, oh. Circles. Okay. Water. Water plus glycerol and just glycerol. Okay, rheoscopic fluid uh, safety guide. Then over here, there are sheets of something. Yeah, they have like honeycomb <laughs> shapes of stuff. There are sheets of something. And uh, the regular Melphysics QR code with a thing inside. This <laughs> comes in every subscription box. Here's the water and glycerol and stuff like that. Oh wait, first, first there's plastic. Yeah, there's plastic. <laughs> Some plastic containers. Very cool. Oh, another plastic. There's another plastic thing. It's called a okay. thing. All right, gloves. Gloves and paper cups. Here's a sheet of foam, which we might use for the to do the experiment on or as part of the experiment. And there's three containers. Violet metallic coloring. Blue metallic coloring. And green metallic coloring. Over here is the glycerol. Glycerol. Oh, okay, here's another is... glycerol. Wait, what? That's glycerol plus water. Oh, never mind. This is just glycerol. And this is just water. Wait. Just water. Wait, no, you're supposed to. Oh, that. there's no water in here, though. And this is glycerol plus water. But I think we have to fill our own water. Yeah, that's the unboxing, so we're going to get right into the first experiment. The first experiment is turbulence. The difficulty is one out of three, the danger is one out of three, and the duration is 30 minutes. Safety, carefully review the general safety advice, which we did already. Perform the experiment on the underlay and use protective gloves and avoid contact with food and dishware. Thoroughly wash or dispose of any dishware you use. Okay. Step one. Use the protective underlay and protective gloves to keep your hands and desktop clean. We already did that. Step one, done. Prepare three liquids media with varying thickness. Water, glycerin, and a combination of the two. So now, so now each of the cups has what they need or bottles. This is completely water. This is half glycerol and half water. And this... It's completely glycerol. They all look the same right now, but when we add the metallic coloring, then we'll be able to see the flow of each of the liquids. All right, ready to add the Wait, do we need to have, hmm? pour half? Oh, it says add half? two spoons. This is a small spoon, okay. Oh, first we need to open the water. Do it over the mat in case it spills out. You never know if it's toxic. Okay. This is water. This is green metallic coloring. Water. Dump it in carefully. Now, on to the blue. Okay. 
And now, the one that is completely glycerol. Step four, swirl the bottles rapidly to create a whirlpool. The thinner water will keep moving much longer than the thicker glycerin. Yeah. Because when you let go. Yeah, glycerol look, doesn't twirl much. And the glycerol twirl. plus water twirls a little bit, but the water twirl. twirls so much. Yeah, it kept twirling. Okay, pour the liquids into petri dishes to observe the flow dynamics more closely. The thinner the liquid and the faster the rod moves, the more swirls in the liquid and vice versa. All right, yeah, and that is it for the first experiment, turbulence. Experiment number two is convection cells. Difficulty is still one out of three. The danger is two out of three. And the duration is 30 minutes. Safety is the same as last time, except we're dealing with boiling water this time. Step one, we already have. It's the protective gloves and the underlay. Step two is preparing the vapor bath and we're filling three cups with boiling water. All right, I'm pouring in the glycerol, right? Watch it go slowly, pour it slowly. Be careful. All right, and now we're gonna settle each one on top. Okay, and now we have to wait for this kind of thing to happen. It should look like convection cells. Oh, I see it forming. I see it forming. If I carefully take this off, you can see bubble cells. Oh. Do you see? Look, it's bubbling cells. Anyways, that is the convection cells experiment. And this was fun. However, maybe because, maybe there wasn't enough metal, so we weren't it able to- It happened! Okay. It's just that I was expecting the cells to look like, like a grid, maybe. But instead, it, it looks like- It looks like cells! Okay. Alright, <laughs> on to the next experiment. This is the final experiment called Caluroscope. The difficulty is 3 out of 3 compared to 1 out of 3 for the last two. And the danger is back down to one out of three. The duration, just like the last two, are 30 minutes. And unlike the last two experiments where we were just working with Petri dishes. We have to actually assemble something. Yeah, we have to actually assemble a thing, which will be cool because I think we spin it and then we get to see the glycerol water spin. Number one, use protective underlay and protective gloves to keep your hands and desktop clean. Okay. Assemble the central part of your setup. Arrange an absorbent napkin on the protective underlay. This, this is called a napkin. is an absorbent napkin. So we need three spoons of green, green metal stuff. We have the green powder over here. <laughs> and now we need to pour water and fill it to the brim. Okay, here we are. Here we are. This is the water with the metal thingy. And now we have to press it until it clicks. And just remember, some will inevitably spill. <laughs> now we're on to wood assembly, similar to Kiwi Cup. So, he didn't actually do the experiment, <laughs> so I finished building it. Good and job. It, it now just spins when you spin this top, so but when you spin it, Whoa. it all the energy from it, even when you stop it, it keeps spinning. Did you do the back yet? 
Uh-huh, I did that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you're fast. Okay, as from the past two experiments, we learned that water has a better flowing thing than glycerol. So there's no glycerol in here because with the water, we can see the swirling action better. Like that, uh, when you stop it abruptly. Whoa, okay. The device you just assembled is called a kaleidoscope. It was invented by artist Paul Matisse in 1966 to create objects of art. It can be translated from Greek as an object to see beautiful flows. You've made a freely rotating kaleidoscope. When you spin the vessel, friction causes the liquid inside to also start whirling. By spinning the vessel continuously in one direction, you can make the outer layers move faster. It seems as if the inner layers are dragged after the outer ones, resulting in a beautiful vortex occupying the whole vessel. The same behavior can be observed at a much larger scale in the atmospheres of a certain type of planet, the gas giant. For instance, on Jupiter, distinct atmospheric layers rotate with different speeds to create a stunning, unique looking surface. And now for our final thoughts. Brother, what was your favorite project? Of this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is also the best, even though brother completely constructed the whole thing. Uh, but all of them were pretty cool. This one in particular was pretty fun because it's very cool to add the metal so you can see the flow currents of water. It, it's still spinning. It's still spinning. Once again, <laughs> if this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Yeah, if this brother is going to purchase this at the link in the description. Bye. Wait. Brother is going to continue spinning this for the next five minutes, but we're going to go. Bye. Bye.